Hey everybody! Hello. Welcome back to Daily Life. It has been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a while, but it's been good because we've been really, really busy with so many different projects this, this year. It's been great, but now we have a little bit of downtime, which means we've been going through all of our footage from the summer, and we want to start sharing it with you all. Africa has been like my number one top of my bucket list for like ever, pretty much my entire life, and specifically an African safari. And so when our friends, the Bucket List family, Jess and Garrett, they invited us to go to Africa with them, we of course said, uh, yeah. And so we have a lot to share with you guys, but we wanna first start out with our incredible time in Tanzania. It's probably my favorite place that we went, but it is called Tasa Lodge, and it's in the Serengeti, and Holy cow, like, the video will speak for itself. So without further ado, here is part one of our amazing African adventure. Woo! You gonna miss us? Yeah, you are? That's okay. I know, I know, we won't be long though, okay? All right, here we go. We have all of our stuff laid out. Everything's all ready to go. We got t-shirts, we got overshirts, little vest looking things, hats, because you know. We need hats. Africa, brown, slightly different brown, khaki. tan, khaki. Khaki isn't a color, it's an attitude. Or lifestyle. Or lifestyle, it's one of those two. Just this bag alone, just with all my camera gear, weighs 20 pounds, and we're only allowed to take 33 pounds total, which means I can only really pack 13 pounds of clothes. So we have a, we have a scale in here, we're gonna pack everything up, we're gonna weigh it and make sure that we can go. Lils, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit you, girl. You add an extra 12 pounds. You gonna help me pack? Looks like we're getting a little preview of, uh, of Africa here. All right, are you ready to go? We're ready to go. We are off to Africa. All right, so we're on the flight. We're heading to uh, Qatar for, oh, hi. Hi, what do you like some chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> Would I like some what? Chocolate. Five and a half more to go. What do we, have? we have a five hour layover. So we're gonna go hang in the biggest business class lounge in the world, apparently. Should we do like a yoga session? Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Babe, what just happened? I got ramen. Something fell in and it splashed straight into my eyes and I asked the guy to make it super spicy. So my eye, two seconds ago, I wasn't able to open it. My eye was burning so bad, just so wet. It still burns, but it feels so much better. All right, we just landed in Tanzania. We're secure, we're safe, we're here and we're ready to have an adventure of a lifetime. Off to our hotel. So we arrived in Tanzania after a very, very long journey and our first stop, which was only for a day, where, where was it at? Was it was called? at Serengeti Lodge. Yeah, we just had one little day there just to kind of get acclimated. To the time change. But what was so cool is that it was the first time we heard the song Jambo Buana. It's a song that we ended up hearing 
all throughout Africa, every single country we, we went to, everywhere we went, they would always sing this song. And it's like our welcome song. And I loved it. I loved it so much. I'm just, I, I'm so lame. So you feel free to laugh at me <laughs> trying to join in. Bush TV, just sit and watch the beautiful fire. So now it's time for us to go to Tassa Lodge, but what we didn't realize is that there's these flights, and they're like taxis almost. So we actually took off in one, and we went up and down, to six different six stops six stops different airports and then we finally landed in Tassa Lodge yeah. and we were picked up by the Bucketless family our adventure began best thing about Tassa is you get picked up from the airport and you immediately start your very first game drive that's when all the coolest things happen because you're experiencing it all for the first time and it was it was amazing First time, babe. First timers. Wow. I didn't. I just assumed it was a zebra. <laughs> see when they put a tail up like that? You see that? That's the aggressive showing. That's the oh, yeah. off the track. You guys are officially the luckiest car ever. video again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we just got to toss the lodge. It's beautiful. Absolutely here. beautiful. Oh, 
Oh. Are you sure you cut it well enough? Or cleaned it well enough? Yeah. Okay. So after we got settled in the lodge, which was beautiful, um, we went on an evening drive. We came across this beautiful, beautiful, majestic lion. Biggest, like, fluffiest mane. It was incredible. He started, like, being vocal. It was amazing. And then after that... Not too far away from where we saw the lion. <laughs> we had this beautiful campfire. So after we had this beautiful campfire, we went on something very, very rare and very unique, which is a night game drive. It doesn't happen often, but Tasa Lodge provides that. You're just lit by the stars at night. And, and it's when all the animals come alive, too. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when you get to see all of them hunting, walking around, like... And new animals pop up. We actually came across a lioness that just caught a wildebeest. What's really special about this video is that we see this whole journey where the lioness goes and goes and finds her family, which is like five young males, male lions, and then a big male. And basically, and we followed her, and then she brought them back to the kill, and then they all just went to town. So if you're a little squeamish. This is a video that you might want to kind of fast forward through. This is nature. It is they're what they do That's to it. survive. Circle of life. <laughs> you all seen Lion King, circle of life. I will admit it is a little graphic and um, like I, me we, being an animal lover, I didn't know if I'd be able to handle it, but it actually was a really beautiful experience. I don't know, it was a beautiful thing to experience. Fast forward if you don't think you'd be able to handle it. Somebody actually asked me, were you ever scared because there's no doors or windows or anything on these cars and you're like, three feet away from lions who can kill you. I, honestly, I was like, I've never was really nervous or scared except for this night drive where literally I was an arm's length away from this big male lion. They don't really look at you, they just kind of look past you or wherever. And then this guy, he just locked eyes with me and his eyes just went like needles. You saw his pupils just... So, and it dead, and we locked and out, I, I died. He He... Ate my soul in that moment, and that was the that was the scariest moment probably of the entire trip as far as just like the intensity. It might not have been like a beautiful, loving connection, but it was like a connection Powerful. nonetheless, and it was yeah, really really cool. pretty cool to see. <laughs>